So I'm here today in the radio zone um, at Can Lions with Tony Hertz, who has been president on the radio jury um, for the past few days. Tony, tell, tell us about the experience of judging this year. Um, what's it like? Oh, it's, um, it, it's, how many adjectives have we got time for? <laughs> it's hard, it's intense, but it's, it's fun. You learn a lot. You're frustrated. You argue, but it, over overall, it's a it's a terrific experience because you just you just hear things from all around the world. Some of them are unexpected. Some of them are are expected. But in the end, the the, 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 the what validates working on a jury is finding unearthing little gems, and we found we found worthy winners. I think. And what do you look for when you're judging a radio ad? What what what's what's make or break for you when you're listening to all these commercials? Well, as I said uh, at the uh, at the press conference, there is a huge amount of uh, emphasis these days on new uses of the medium, clever ways to use the medium. In the, yeah. but the fact is. That with all of those things, and some of them are, are pretty brilliant, but one of the things that we look for and, and that we insist on is the craft, the, 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 the things that, that, that make radio a powerful medium. Two things. One is, is the personal, emotional contact that radio has with, with the sisters. And secondly, the possibilities. It's, 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 its ability to evoke personal visual images. And those are the things that it's that combination of people. And of course, the clever advertising ideas. So it's a combination yeah. of um, And so the Grand Prix stands at work. Are there any campaigns particularly that struck you? Well, the Grand, the, 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 the Grand Prix, the Lucasade campaign from, from South Africa, um, stood out because, um, you know, there is a temptation always that we had a, quite a bit of public service and, and sponsored public service which was eligible, which was very moving. But what we really liked about the Lucas A campaign is that it's proper advertising. It's real advertising for, for a real client uh, for Lucas A, which is a product which has been around for God knows, 100, 100 years. And when you can do something for a product, it's kind of that ordinary. But find something that touches people, that, that, that just approaches it in, in, in a different way. That's a bit of magic. And this was just so immaculately written and produced. It was a, a spot that we, we, we heard all week. And it was one of those spots that we didn't say, oh, well, let's, we should listen to that again. We wanted to listen to it again. And every time we heard it, it just made us smile and made us feel good. And, that, and that's, that's why. And um, you've obviously written a lot of great radio ads. You've, been, you've won many awards yourself mm. and, and many lines. Um, you've written a book recently as well about radio advertising. Uh, this is the moment I, <laughs> I, didn't, I, didn't bring, I didn't bring a copy of it with me. <laughs> The book gives insight into um, some of the, the, the challenges that people face when, when writing radio ads and also give advice to, to creators when they're approaching briefs. In, in, in a nutshell, can, can you name some, some tips or some advice? Well, it's, it's, called the, it's called The Seven Secrets of Creative Radio Advertising. And I guess the first thing to say is that they're not secrets. Well, one of <laughs> one kind of is, it, it's a reiteration of, of things that people know, but they need reminding. But as a matter of fact, the first two secrets are, are, the, are two that I've already mentioned. The first secret is find a feeling, which is that, that, that advertising, the best radio advertising utilizes and takes advantage of, of, of the personal connection that radio makes with, with, with people. And the, and the fact that, you know, as much as as much as we think we're we're clever intellectual people, basically we're not thinking people who feel. Basically, human beings are feeling people who think sometimes. You know, the, the most purchase decisions, brand purchase decisions, are made here. They're made in the heart, then they're rationalised in the head. So, the, so the, there's a huge amount of, of, of research now that, that says that advertising that is emotionally based, that touches people, is better, and that's same for radio advertising. Now radio tends to be used in many places tactically. Yes. And because it's tactical, 
they tend to forget the emotional part and they just say, you know, this much of a discount, this much of a price, hurry, 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 and, and they, they forget that, that, that that's not why people buy things. For sure there's a place for tactics, but even in tactical advertising you can find some sort of, you can find some sort of an emotional content. The second secret is start with the picture. This is my thing. I run this, I have this workshop I've been doing for years called Radio for Art Directors. We live in a visual age. It's the nature of our business right now, the whole thing is screen based. So there are now more art directors and copywriters. You, know, you see on the credits sometimes on, on, on radio commercials, they don't call them copywriters anymore, they just say creatives, because art directors are doing it as well. Art directors have strengths, and, uh, uh, and art directors quite often do better radio than copywriters, because they see the picture, they see the shape. Copywriters get very involved in their words. I'm one of them. <laughs> and there, there are other secrets about production, and, and one of the important ones, and I think it, it, it is reflected again in, in, in the winner. My secret, I think it's number six, is basically this is characters, not voices. I hate voices. I'm just not interested in pure announcer voices. I want not, not real, male, male voice over female voice over. Exactly. Give them names, real. give them stories. I took a picture. We have the, I'm going to post this on my website. Some people that, that some absolute gems from scripts that people have written and it said SFX pause <laughs> which is one of the you know or SFX silence it's one of the and there people are falling into this well it's not a real it's not a real radio commercial unless it says VO and F SFX on it and um, I never write that stuff I just write this is what happens yeah. telling it's a story it's a storytelling medium and the more we tell stories the better the radio will be.